All right, so um, good afternoon. You're welcome to the SME Digest Africa Business Show right on Vanguard Live. Okay, so um, I would love you to, you know, share this show as um, we're going to proceed on the SME Digest Africa Show. It's a business show, okay? So you might be seeing this for the first time, and I'm so, so, so excited mm -hmm. to be on this show because we're going to be talking about business. We're going to be talking about finances. We're going to be talking about how you can grow your business from ground zero level up there okay because we know so many businesses are facing a whole lot of challenge and most of the challenge are coming from you know various challenges lack of you know enough knowledge not lack of finances lack of so many things that are causing businesses to shut down in a very short period of time as when they commence their business and on the SME Digest show we're going to bring in experts that we guide you we're going to be bringing in finance experts. We're going to be bringing in marketing experts. We're going to be bringing in a whole lot of experts that is going to help your business grow. So you want to get on board every Tuesday on the SME Digest Africa show. And trust me, I promise you, this is going to be a ride you don't want to miss. So every Tuesday, you want to stay glued on the Vanguard Live platform. And you want to do us a favor, okay? Just share this video so you can get across to as many persons out there okay so i have a guest with me in the show is a colleague is a friend the person of kendi or like benjo the founder of um clig africa kendi welcome thank to the you show. so much for inviting me on this amazing program all right thank you very much kenny so um we'll be going on a break and we'll come back to commence the show proper stay tuned <music> Okay, you're welcome back on the SME Digest Africa show, okay? Like I said earlier on, it's a business show, okay? It's a business show you want to stay. So if you have a business, you have anything you're doing that is putting money in your account, that is putting money in your pocket, so you want to stay tuned to this show because guess what? We are going to be bringing in experts. We're going to be bringing in guides. We're going to be bringing in tips that can help you grow that business. Like I said, talking about finance, marketing, social media, advertising, and all of that, you want to stay glued on the SME Digest Africa show on Vanguard Live. And like I, I, like I always say, please share the show to get in touch with so many, many per persons out there. All right, so uh, we're kicking off the show. Today, we're going to be talking about the challenges we mm. have in business. Challenges businesses are facing in, um, in Nigeria. Nigeria, especially. Mm. Okay, see, so many businesses are facing challenge, a whole lot of challenges. There's a statistic out there from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that say... Um, approximately 20 percent of every new business shut down in the first two years and 45 percent shut down in the first five years and then 65 percent shut down in the f in the ten first 10 years okay so all that means is about seven businesses if we have 10 business to start mm -hmm, up today mm -hmm. in the next 10 years you have seven of them have have already shut down okay so businesses are closing by the day and I mean, we want to discuss about this. We want to know why. I think I, 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 I agree them. with this um, statistic, you know. Um, as an entrepreneur, uh, maybe on this, sh on this show, I'll be sharing some of um, um, my life experience. You know, okay. as an entrepreneur, sometimes people come on show and tell you theory mm. or tell you what you want to hear. You understand? But it is good when we share our real life, practical, life you know, practical, practical experience so that people out there, you know, will learn. Mm, you know, mm. um, last year, you know, is one of the kind of toughest moments in my life mm. because I lost over 15 million in business. Wow. 15 million. 15 million. Uh, million so business. Can, you, can you just share with <laughs> you us know, what, what actually happened? You, you, know, you know, you are talking about, cha you, uh, you are talking about challenges. You yeah. see, as an entrepreneur, if you want to start, I always say, from experience now, money is not really, you know, your challenges. Money your is not, not really, really your challenges. Your challenges. Okay. Mm. See, we need money, you understand. Okay. You know, um, money is good when you have all the knowledge. Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, it okay. is easy to fail with one, if you have 15 million error. Okay. If you fail with one million error, you can bounce back with 14 million error. Mm. If you True. fail with 15 True. million, you see, um, there is this a young man, um, very lovely. I love the guy. This guy committed suicide because of 3 million. Wow. wow. 3 million. Wow. He could not face the pressure. 
But you know, see, uh, most SMEs out there, because on the SME Digest blog, SME Digest blog, SME Digest.com.ng, we have so many people sending us mail. In fact, I will tell you, like, 70% of the mail we receive on a daily basis is, I need money. I need access to funds. That is my number one point of the challenges we are having in businesses in Nigeria, access to funds. So, are you saying now that there are funds out there? But people don't have the right knowledge or what it yes. to manage this. You see, funds. like I said, um, I, I told you I lost about 15 million. If I have the money now, no, I will have spent the money, you know, in a more mature in a more moderate way. You understand? So what, what For example, <laughs> you see, when you are starting, I was counseling a lady, you know, in okay. US, you understand? She said, ah, Kenny, I can do this, I can do that, I need money. I said, Madam, calm down. Mm -hmm. You don't need money first, you need mm -hmm. customer first. Mm, customer. See, there are so many people that don't need office. You that is, I say, money is not really your issues. Mm. For example, Abby, I spent, there's one of my office, I spent a lot of money renting that office. Mm. You understand? I'm sure I, you know the place, mm. you know. I regretted, you know, renting that office. Wow. Because wow. I, 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 I did not make 20% of the money, and you know, because I, I easily, I, I love the place. I just assumed that people will be coming to that, you know, location and go. Guess what? I have to close that location. Wow. And guess what? You know, the money I have made in in another place in my house, you understand, is more than the money that I, I, I made from that office. You see, if you are starting up as an entrepreneur, you understand, you know, stop focusing on the big things first, you understand. Mm. Customer is your... First Customer target, you know, you just learn how to sew, and you go and rent a big office. Who will sew for you? Nobody knows you. That reminds me of uh, what um, Akin Alabi said. You know, he said if you're going into business, you should first of all build your customer base. Uh, yes, first. before you know, be have have that hungry those hungry customers that need whatever it is that you are offering before mm -hmm. going out there to. So the customer uh, is very very key. Okay, so now access to finance. Now you have access to finance, yes. but then at the same, you lost the finance. Now that brings us to our second point: um, little business knowledge challenges businesses mm -hmm, are facing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm, little. little business knowledge. Now you are saying uh, you lost a whole lot of money as a result of. Let me let location. me ask. Okay, location two okay. expanding too soon. Hmm. Expanding now. You know, soon. I run a logistic business and I have two bikes. You okay. know, people were you know during the lockdown, people were calling up, Kenny, we need you, you, you understand? You see, and I've come to realize that there are people that need your service for a short time, hmm. and there okay. are people that need your service for, for a long longer time. time. So many of hmm. us, I take ten million to go and buy equipment. They need my service for, for a short, short time. time. So after their service is over, you can't continue you that business again. Mm, okay. Now, do you like that? A lot of people, a lot of businesses need, um, you know, logistic yes, business. Yes. So, uh, you know, we're getting massive orders. Mm. So there are some people. The moment after the lockdown, they were not calling us again. Wow. That become an issue. Wow. wow. Sometimes, wow. you know, if I if I can go back, I will have stayed without my two bikes, or probably make it just three. Then we bought five bikes. We bought car. <laughs> you know? Okay, so and those who were saying, go and buy his, go and buy his, Abby, <laughs> they were not there again. Okay, so you expanded <laughs> too soon. You spent money on expansion, unknown, unknown to you that this and this is going to happen. I, I, like I told you, you know, many of us, you are investing, you know, um, on equipment, on people who only need your service on a short time short basis. Time. Okay, okay, okay. They are not sustainable. Mm. Mm. Probably, if I have waited only two, that two bike will still, you know, serve, you know, those customers who still need your service on a what? On a longer basis. Uh, you know, I, I remember the lockdown period. I, I discovered that so many logistics business were just springing out. Ah. Because people, the demand for logistics was so, so huge. High. So everybody was coming out with logistic business. And after one month, though, <laughs> after <laughs> one month <laughs> they were shutting down. So that's, that is part of the little business knowledge we're talking about. See, you don't know about this business. You don't know how it operates. Okay, it operates. You just saw an opportunity and you just dabble into it. Invested a whole and lot Nigeria of money. And Nigeria would love to copy. Yeah. Okay. You know, people are not innovative. Mm. If, if somebody... If 
there was a time they said the Daikeji bought a mansion via blog. No, 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 everybody, everybody started pastor, doing. <laughs> Gio, Mon everybody Gio, started Gio, creating you blog. You know, do you have your own blog? Yet? I mean, uh, yes. I mean, you see, you understand. You don't do things because people are doing it. You need yes, knowledge. You need knowledge. You understand. Practical you knowledge. You need to understand. You know the issues. Mm. You know, you understand. Now another issues we face there is government policy. Yes, government. In fact, that is my next point. I don't know if you have used <laughs> government regulations and policies. Another major challenge that businesses are having. Can I can I can I tell you something? Shoot, can what they do there? You see, we we have government who are not creative. Hmm. You cannot create jobs for people yet. You are coming out with policy to destroy them. Hmm. You see, let me tell you something. We are we are life. You see, we have when they come to collecting money, hmm. our government they are very effective. They can give police to collect dues, mm. but to provide service, mm -hmm. you won't see them. Mm. Now, you know, um, I was told some group of people went to the government that uh, a lot of people are into logistic business. Why are they there? They are not happy. You know, you know, it's like some bigger guys there. They are not innovative. Mm. They see the smaller guys coming as on a, board you know, as, as, a, as a challenge, as a, as a, them, as a competitor. That is why they begin to increase fee to get the license one million, ten million, fifteen million. Mm. You mm. know, see sometimes you know if you want to run the logistics business, if you are Gen two, you have to have two side of you. Mm. Gen two, when you come to that logistics business, leave Gen two. <laughs> you understand? You have to because your when you have a five, five bikes in a day, have it. You understand, and they arrest you, you uh, four of them will be arrested. Wow, and the minimum wow. you pay is 20k, 30k, 40k. How much are we selling? Abby, hmm. sometimes we spend all our profits servicing government. You don't have, even if you have it, they will still arrest you. Hmm. Government regulation and policy, you understand, One of the major challenges business are facing in Nigeria. Okay, so um, we we'll say let's we definitely on 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 a, on a long run we're going to invite the government to the show to communicate to businesses out there what these policies are and how businesses because I remember the time of um, the logistic period also that the lockdown period I discovered that so many logistics sprout up and we had issues of governments arresting bikes but I mean and lot of was policy, so rampant. they now took know? advantage of that extorting money from the bikers and mm -hmm. all of that so. It's it's like a I whole said, lot. Sometime it's a in whole a day, lot. Sometime in a day, you can pay forty, fifty thousand. Imagine. There is no week you must not pay one government person. And how much? How much profit so are, how you much are you making? How much are you making? So most time, those money, you know, going to servicing, you know, your little profit. Wow. Wow. And That's another bad. major issue is wrong staffing. Okay, so we'll come to that. We'll come to that. So next on my point, we have um, visibility and marketing mm. as one of the major challenges um, businesses are facing out there in Nigeria. Okay, visibility and marketing. Okay, see, um, businesses out there, you need to be visible. Okay, if you are not visible, there is no way people will know of your service. There is no way people will patron come and patronize you if you are not out there. Okay, so talking about visibility and marketing, what platform did you use or are you using to harness your visibility to increase your visibility and your marketing as a, as a media entrepreneur i understand you know the importance of um, visibility okay and um what we do then is that we shoot a lot of videos uh, mm. we try to go extra for some of our customers so we shoot some videos we do like testimonies you know sharing okay. people love testimony profit yeah. cutting you understand you know then we uh, we invest in online promotions Flyers, you know, and co. You understand? You know, back to what we talk about renting office. For example, if I have 15 million naira now, mm. let's not say logistics. You understand? You know, there's some other product we, we we do sell to, and I realize that I would rather spend more because most of the mistakes entrepreneurs make is that if they have five million naira, yeah. they will buy product of 4.5 million naira. Mm -hmm. They will not want to use fifty thousand naira to, to, to do promotion <laughs> for, to promote 4.5 million product, wrong. which is which that is, is very, why very some wrong. of these entrepreneurs mm. five years they are not selling. Mm. Mm. So you have stock of goods in your warehouse and you discover that you are not selling. They don't even want to do promo. And if you have, you see, you know, I always tell people that if you are not number one. Number two, number th at least number four, number five in your industry, it will be difficult for you to make money. Mm. See, in this time, oh, that is why 
You see somebody that just come in yesterday, they are willing to spend money and they are all over the place. I don't want to mention them. You know, I saw your friend sharing about your product. They went to trade fair. Mm. In less than one day, the product is everywhere. Wow. Because, wow. you know, <laughs> they are willing to invest in this. Invest so, in this most entrepreneurs, we are afraid of to spending spend. on visibility, thinking that it's too costly. Yeah. But when you are known, trust me, so one thing I want to also drop here is see spending on visibility, spending on marketing is not an expense. It's actually an investment, investment. in your business. I know of a brand that uh, that's coming to Nigeria, a, a hair brand. Kenny, can you believe that these guys are everywhere? First of all, they were on uh, is it Big Brother Nigeria? Yes. Then I started seeing their banners everywhere. When I went to Abuja, I was seeing their everywhere. Mm. So they invested heavily on visibility. And marketing. I thought so I was cancelling a lady, and I told her that you are, she's in Canada. And I said, you know what? If you have, let's say, hundred thousand naira, and she said, Kenny, I love selling air. I said, you know what? Don't buy any product for now. You say I want to go to China. I said, stop. Uh, don't mm. buy for now. Go and look for other people selling air. They are guys bringing mm. probably from China to Canada. Mm -hmm. You know, he say, uh, as, you know, you know the problem most entrepreneurs. We concluded no a lot. And if I talk to Habi, Habi will know. I say, I say stop. Mm. Like that. Go and talk to 10 abbeys. Mm. There is no how one person will not do so. Let me tell you, let me share this. You know, I, I practiced something in the last month, which I, I discussed with you. I wanted something in the era of Ikoi. You know? Okay. Yeah. I know I don't have all the resources. So I asked myself, what do I have mm. as a media person? So I sent a mail to this company that see what I have. Mm? See what I need. Abbey, guess what? It was approved. Wow. I know wow. how much it will take for they me to, to assess that place on a weekly basis. Wow. And I'm getting that place for free. No, for really for free, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. In exchange for what, you know, I can actually offer. And I said, you have 100,000 there. Go and look for 10 people. Tell them that, you, you, you say, hey, Abby, let me be marketing your hair for you. Mm, you understand? Okay. See, I have a deal with them. And I said, the way Facebook works, you know, if I have 100,000 Naira, and you start with 2,000, 3,000, probably the person bringing the the air from China, he may not even invest in promotion. Mm -hmm. You'll be shocked that you'll be selling more than the person bringing the product from China. It. Number one, you're not paying for office. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have even less salaries because you're not buying air from China. So gradually grow from them. So entrepreneur, we worry about things that doesn't that doesn't concern us. Hmm. There are so many ways you can start your business with with lesser risk. If I have no all this, you know, I won't lose that kind of money hmm. in business. So you can see business knowledge is very very important visibility and marketing is very very now you see as, as and you SMEs, should be the number one ceo of your market you see there are so many ceo i <laughs> am the ceo they will not sit okay. At, at home. <laughs> okay so you should be the number one marketer of your products out there sme small and medium enterprises okay and so we are not saying you should go and get 10 million 10 billion naira for marketing mm -hmm. to be on big brother see with no matter how little how small your funds, your marketing budgets are, you can harness the online platform. Yes. Okay. So I know that you can even run adverts on Facebook for as low as 1,000 1, yeah. you know, depending on your budget. And you're going to reach more people other than just keeping your products in your shop there, waiting for somebody to come to walk in before they can patronize you. I, okay? I, I, I did an advert for, you know, for customers um, in, you know, on Facebook. Oh, okay. In, in first time. She's now calling me back down. Ah, Mr. Kenny, we need to do like a month just mm. for this. Wow. And guess wow. what? Most of those customers, they are not in first time. Wow. You know, what I did is I, I target my depot. She sells fashion products. Wow. So it's not limited to first time people. Yes. Yeah, Don't be shocked that most of our customers, you know, and she's planning to do a month straight. There is no how this lady will do like a month on a regular basis. basis you that know, will not make she will, you know, sense. so, you know, there are so many ways. Have a budget for visibility. Very it's important. very important. Very important. Have a budget for visibility. So somebody said, yeah, for those that are not spending money on, if you are not spending money on marketing, it's just like you stopping the hand, uh, the clock of the time, hmm. saying you are trying to save time. 
if you're not spending money on adverts, you're trying to save your money because you don't want to mm. spend it. It's just like you stopping <laughs> the hand clock. So you want to save time. You don't want the hand clock to move. Okay, so money budget for advertising is very, very important. You can advertise your business on Facebook, on Google, okay. on yeah. various platforms mm. online. If you don't have yes. the huge budget for yeah. radio advert, mm. TV advert, banner, and all of that. Okay, so th that takes us to the next um, point. Challenges businesses are facing in Nigeria. Now we have finding the right staff. Finding the right staff, hmm. Kenny. This is one of another if, if, if major if, challenge. If, if issues, you know, <laughs> I'm working on a book soon because I'm going to dedicate like two chapters on that. <laughs> you see, one of the why are you dedicating two chapters see, on finding the right staff? One of the issue we have. Thank God you you also run a logistic business. You know, one of the major issue we have. Yes, is our own staff. Sometimes we are blaming the government people. Mm. Some of our riders too. They were following the wrong way. Hmm. Mm. You know, we have we set a target. They will not meet the target, and they want salary. And if you don't, if you, and and sometimes when they are misbehaving, it has a peak of your you know delivery and call. Mm. See, <laughs> those riders they can make or man you, and also in your businesses, staff can make or, or man you. Business. You Definitely. understand? See, as Definitely. a as a you know uh, as a business owner. Do everything you know possible to make your staff happy. At the same time, too, you understand. You need the right people that believe in your vision. You need the right staff that they don't only really care about money, you know, alone. You know, that will not permit us. I will have, you know, take, you know, in my own business. I want to relate it. Wrong staff can break your business, Definitely. and wrong, I mean, right staff can take your business to the next level. Definitely. So you know, you need to slow. In hiring staff, are you to be fast in you know firing the one that will cause harm to your business? Hmm. Sometimes I have allowed some people to stay with me. Ah, all oh my change, all oh my change, they will change. They didn't change their bit. Hmm. They are even causing more harm, more to, the harm to the business. True, true. So finding the right staff is very, very key. Um, you don't want to get a staff that is just there for the salary. There are salary, some staff. Yeah. They are, they are not creating. I know some staff that I have to be the one creating. For and I say, you, 28, is there, 29, 30. Yes, can't you think? You know, I have a staff, you know, she's so comfortable that, you know, when I say I have to close that other office, she just go to the office, sleep, eat. <laughs> and I ask her that, even you, forget that I'm not making money here. Mm -hmm. You understand? This thing is not, you are not productive. Mm. You know, they, I mean, nothing is challenging, but you are okay with it. Do you want to grow? You know, most of those staff are just are just there waiting for their salary. Okay, you you need to find somebody that is creative that can bring suggestions to you. That is that, it. Hey, boss, can we do can this? Can we this do week? this? Can we do this? Can we market? Can we go out? Can we? You know, and you know something about those some some of our staff now, they are lazy. When I mean they are lazy, you see, when you are not when when we are not selling, sometimes I go out to do something. Tell them to go out to go and say they will say I'm not a marketer. Oh, so you only want to collect money. I have a particular staff that when it comes to the end of the month, that is when he will start working. Mm. So that it looks like this guy is working seriously. Mm. Because he knows that <laughs> we are getting to the <laughs> end of the month, month where the salary will come in. Okay, so you need to find the right staff for your business. That is very, very key because this your staff is actually representing you. Mm -hmm. Okay, your staff is representing the business. So whatever it is that the staff is portraying out there, that is what your business represents. That is what the, co you know, I was, I, I contacted a company. I know the owner of the company so i wanted to buy something from them so i had to go through the staff of course i don't want to take the advantage of me knowing the owner so the way the lady responded to me i was like is this how you are supposed to respond mm. like for you don't even know who i am i know the i know your boss mm. okay so she was so rude so i had to now contact the boss that please who is that person you kept there you have to watch your business and all that so you understand so the person that is representing your, your staff are your business representative they can just like kenny said they can either make your business or they mar your business so finding the right staff is key and one of the major challenges we're having in business in nigeria so for the last one we have inadequate public infrastructure inadequate public infrastructure that's the we, didn't even, to the we didn't even talk about expenses in business you <laughs> know? expenses okay. you know um, um you know in the web we still have to talk about the government too. You see, I, as a small, I, I, I said something. To, I was talking with one government official. I said, "Sir, please put me in a big, uh, you know, in a let's create a, 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 a something like a hub 
we are in that hub. There is light. Mm -hmm. There is internet. Mm -hmm. All those basic yes. things. Basic I mean, facilities needed. As an entrepreneur, give me just two years. Hmm. So that I don't worry about paying NEPA. Mm -hmm. There's no NEPA. You know, sometimes you make little money. You will spend out of that little money Definitely. on fuel. In fact, I <laughs> someone was saying they you bought diesel seven hundred and something. Yes. Recently. In my, in, in, my in my in my in my office, I pay for inverter. I pay for fuel. You understand? Hmm. You know, you pay NEPA B. You pay security B. You give from how much? Hmm. In Just imagine people. that. You know, as an entrepreneur. You understand? For the next two years, you don't worry about NEPA. Okay, mm. even if you are paying NEPA, you are not pay, buying for it. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes you want to use internet. You have to use like four. Exactly. Uh, uh, because uh, this one will not serve you. Mm. You have to use like 15. So, just imagine that. That instead of me buying for it, you know, I have a brother. He spent close to half a million on diesel every month. Do you know half that half a million look can, can, can include the salary Definitely. of your staff? Can even, uh, they can even more create people. another create business. More create more jobs. So the government is actually one of the major challenges that businesses are facing. I mean, look the at The cost now. of running business is too high. It's too, ex it's too that high. That is why I blame people promising people a lot of you know, pro, um, um, return. Or you see, okay. see, Nigeria <laughs> environment will not allow you. Mm. Even because by the time you pay for it, this will not pay, because you don't have anything again. So it's very, very challenging. A whole lot of ROI businesses are, <laughs> <laughs> are, ah, <laughs> are crashing. You know. that, you see, like, the, the one that crashed recently, I'm not going to mention your name. You know, I was reading a post. Someone said, see, most of the time, don't blame these guys. The cost of running business in Nigeria is very, yes. very difficult. Not like these guys come out there to want to disappoint you guys. Me too, I have but, business too. I yes, understand. You but know? if you look at it now, you just mentioned that someone is spending 500,000 Naira yes. monthly on running this. And at, at this level, imagine? just if you mention some, micro some, small level. If you mention, you mention some big companies, bigger companies, companies are spending. you see a company spending 200 million in a year. Do you wow. know the kind of business wow. 200 million we create in Nigeria? Wow. What a wow. So, that is it. A whole lot mm. of challenges. If we keep mentioning all the challenge that um, businesses are facing, God, we're not going to close this show. So um, it's going to be a wrap for today. That's the SME Digest Africa show for you. So we're going to be bringing more business tips, more experts in the, on this show to, to teach you, to give you a guide on how you can run your business, on how you can grow in your business, and how you can achieve your business goals, okay? So every Tuesday, you want to keep tuning to the Vanguard Live show on SME Digest Africa. And like I always say, you want to share the show so that I can reach out to so many people out there. There's a whole lot to learn. If you're into business or you're planning to go into business, stay tuned on the SME Digest Africa show on Vanguard Live. So we'll come on the way next week, Tuesday. It's a goodbye. Thank you for staying tuned. God bless. Thank you.